Welcome back everyone, this is Ink, and in today's problem we're going to use nodal analysis to solve for the voltage at VA, the voltage at VB, the voltage across the, the 1 ohms resistor, VR, the current in the right branch, IX. In a previous problem, which will be in the description or in a flash card on the screen, we had the case of VA equaling VB because there was no components causing a voltage drop um, between those two terminals. So as always, we have VA and VB, which is the two terminal we're going to apply no KCL at. So applying KCL at VA gives the equation. We indicate that we're using node VA. VA minus 16 volts all over 1 plus VA minus 0 volts ground all over 1 plus VA minus VB all over 1 equals 0. Node VB, we go VB minus N. We're just writing down both equations at the same time. VB minus VA all over 1 ohms plus VB minus 0 volts all over 1 ohms plus VB minus 0 volts all over 1 ohms equals 0. That is KCL at VA and VB. Simplifying node VA, we get the equation VA coefficient 3 minus VB equals 16. Equation 1. Simplifying equation 2 or node VB, we get equation 2, which is equal to negative VA plus VB coefficient 3 equals 0. Equation 2. Simultaneously or simultaneously solving 1 and 2, equation 1 and 2, we get VA is equal to 6 volts and VB is equal to 2 volts. So VA equals 6 volts, VB equals 2 volts. Now with the information VA and VB, we can now solve for VR. Or we can also solve for IX. You can do either. Solving for VR, that the voltage drop across the 1 ohms resistor is going to be the difference between VA and VB. Thus, VR is equal to VA minus VB. Which is equal to 6 minus 2, which is 4 volts. So, VR is equal to 4 volts. Knowing the voltage at VB, we solve for IX by using Ohm's law. Ix is equal to the voltage at Vb divided by the total resistance in that branch, which is 1 ohms, so we get 2 amps. So Ix is equal to 2 amperes. And that is it. See you in the next video. Bye.